welcome to a special edition of Advocates the Podcast. We have here today Tommy Thomas, the former Attorney General of Malaysia, who's caused quite a stir with, uh, as a result of his book, My Story, Justice in the Wilderness. Hi, Tommy. Welcome Hi. to Advocates the Podcast. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, your book, My Story, Justice in the Wilderness, was quite unique in that it is part autobiography and part memoir of your time as EG. Why did you decide to write it in that manner, as opposed to just a straightforward memoir on your time as AG? Well, I had to give a context, a bit of a background. I thought that if I started writing uh, just prior to G14, which was May 2018, uh, and then uh, the election of uh, the Pakatan government and the appointment of Tun Mahathir as Prime Minister, and my subsequent appointment, if I, if I started the book there, I thought it will not give context and background. So I wanted to introduce the reader to a bit of my career and my background. Well, the response to your book has been tremendous. Spent a couple of days, if I'm not mistaken, on the Amazon's bestsellers list. Uh, you received both brickbacks and bouquet. As of the 7th of uh, February 2021, I read there have been 134 police reports against the book. There are articles and blogs and writings supporting you. Um, so my question is, were you surprised uh, by both, by the response to the book and the vehemence of that response? I wasn't surprised at the criticism and uh, the direction from which it was going to come. Uh, I, I, that was foreseeable because that was very much the theme in my 20 months in office. Uh, so that wasn't uh, uh, surprising. Uh, what surprised me was the reception by by pounds of Malaysians and actually Singaporeans. Uh, but with regards to the vehemence of the response, 134 police reports in 7 of February 2021, articles defending you and defending your rights to, you know, to say what you just said, what do you have to say to this? Well, uh, first of all, apparently it's more than 200. Okay, now, okay, right, right. Uh, well, I guess the number surprised me, yeah. but the direction from, from which it came, it was the same group of people who were complaining and protesting about, uh, first of all, my appointment mm -hmm. and uh, whatever I did or did not do in the 20 months. Mm -hmm. So th th that group of people who were objecting to my appointment uh, and therefore to the book, was not surprising. Right, Tommy, uh, next question I want to ask you is this. Um, the part that has gathered the most interest is obviously on the Tamil tour side, so about 20 months that you were the AG. In writing it, uh, you basically set down for the record events that took place behind, well, mostly closed doors, and your own views and perceptions of those events. What did you hope that the intelligent, far-minded, reasonable reader to take away or understand from reading about your time as easy? There's no doubt in my mind it was a contribution to the history of the period. Uh, I, I, am, I have emphasized many times that I wanted to be a reforming AG in a reforming government. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a voter who wanted change prior to becoming AG, I was thrilled when GE14 happened and then I was part of the, of the government. So to record what the government did, and of course, sadly, it fell after 21, 22 months, mm -hmm. set, fell prematurely and unexpectedly. So I would say my first objective was to place on record, at least from my perspective, what the PH government tried to do and, and achieved, and of course failed. Uh, you mustn't forget that often uh, contemporaneous writings, whether by journalists, reporters, and those who participate, uh, represents the represent the first draft of history, That's right. and hopefully in 30, 40 years' time, when uh, real historians uh, look back right. uh, with the benefit of hindsight, and hopefully the archives being open, uh, then they look back and they say, okay, where shall we start when we write about the two-year PH government? Um, and they would look at the newspapers online, and hopefully they look at my book. So that that was very much uh, in the forefront of my mind to add to the literature of, uh, of that period. You described yourself just now as a, as a reforming AG. That was the intention. Uh, some re of these reforms were achieved, some were kicked into the long grass or watered down, and some were derailed. Which were the ones that you were most proud of, and which were, were the most disappointing? 
I think the, the, the best thing that we ever did was uh, what I described and I think the credit must go to Syed Sadiq, mm. the, the minister who pushed it, which is the lowering of the voting age to 18 mm. and the compulsory registration. Uh, I mean, in a sense, it's not, uh, it's not a novel concept, but I think uh, how Syed Sadiq did it was a masterpiece of uh, how, how laws ought to be made because he had to get a two-thirds majority, That's right. but he charmed everybody and got 100% as unanimous support. Mm. So in a sense, it's a bit disappointing now that you hear those who unanimously supported the bill, mm -hmm. uh, who are now in power, are, yeah. are holding back and not wanting to implement it. So without doubt, that was a, a, a crucial period. And I think one of the few times we had unanimous support in parliament for a bill. Uh, I think the worst uh, failures were the ones that are haunting uh, the opposition and civil society now that we didn't address the Sedition Act, uh, the MCMC, the fake news, uh, quite a few controversial bills which were really asked, uh, waiting to be uh, repealed uh, or amended substantially but we didn't do anything about. And even and the death penalty, I would say that the death penalty was an opportunity missed. Overall, will you do it again? But, uh, but coming being, back a second time, no. Being, I, no, 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 being no, easy. No. <laughs> coming back a second time, no. Absolutely not. I, I think the Prime Minister Mahathir's return shows how dangerous it is to come back. No, I enjoyed it, but that's it. To move on. Right. Thanks so much, Tommy. Thank oh, you so pleasure, much. My pleasure. Right. Um, listeners, hi. Uh, so tell us which was the most interesting part of Tommy's um, podcast. Uh, to you. Uh, the most interesting answer wins Tommy Thomas's best-selling memoir, My Story, Justice in the Wilderness. Thank you so much for listening and viewing.